We continue in the T6 Texan. We're leaving Dunedin now and heading for a flyover of Balclutha NZBA. If we can find it. It looks like quite a small airport. Heading down the coast, following roads. At this point, I'm starting to get used to the handling of the T6. Instead of it becoming overwhelming, I am learning how to make it work for me by correctly handling the cylinder temperature. Particularly with correct cruise RPM and manifold pressure settings. My descents as well are getting better because instead of letting the engine cool by descending a little bit quickly and dropping the manifold pressure off, I'm keeping it warm right to up the descent, not uh, descending quickly but in advance, and using the gear and the flaps early enough so I can keep the temperatures up. It's really helped my landings. Looking back on Dunedin. Um, I was going to say, to the left was Bayerby Beach. And here we are descending to Balclutha, NCBA, trying to find the airport. I have a map that shows the river and the town and the airport should be somewhere in the middle. Just can't see it yet. And there we have the airport, right ahead grass strip. We're not landing there today, we're just taking a flyover. Generally prefer to land where there's a lot of buildings or activity on the ground. I mean there was a there were a lot of airports in the, the Orbex scene we had on. I've avoided the temptation to miss the airports because I'm basically getting tired at the end of a huge tour. But we can't land every single one. So down here we have two or three buildings, probably a person, a couple of planes. You no, know, it's a nice little stop, but not for us today. Heading off to Mandeville now, NZVL. The grass strip. Airport, the other side of the river, should be coming up soon. We fast forwarded over uh, some of the slower cruise parts of this flight. Runway 27. Keeping the manifold pressure and RPM high, temperatures high to keep the engine running smoothly. It seems to be working so far. Touch wood. Never happy with trees at the end of the runway. That's the autogen, I guess. But why do they have to put it right at the end of the runway so you can't do it? Well, I'd say the approach is pretty smooth. It would be nice to have the trees. See if we can do a three points up. Uh, I've got to check if I'm supposed to do a three wheeler on that. Let's quickly.
actually head in. See what's here. That's the little airport. Around the driveway here we can navigate the park. This looks like a good spot. Let's get an outside view before we continue. Mandeville. NZVL. Sticking with the T6, which we should be doing now until the end of our trip, and eventually Milford Sound, but when we'll be getting there on this particular trip. This will be a short hop south to Gore, so about 10 miles away. Now let's see how we do on this grass strip. I'm trying to get smooth landings, I mean smooth takeoffs, sorry. Some of these grass strips are even hard to recognize. I have to flaps up by mistake now or down, so I just put them up. Oops. That is a good view of the airport. Mandeville, NT, VL. Flying around the mountain on the far map with that mountain, then we have to turn around and fly around, follow the river, over the town of Gore to the airport, just past it. We saw a plane land on 19 on our movement map earlier, which is the longest runway, parallel to the water, the river. So the town in the distance, we follow the river roughly, but well, we're not going to follow every single part of it, but um, just <laughs> we, it's a good reference for us. The river should line us up with one way 19, at least angle wise. I think we've spotted it. At least it's a little bit further than uh, I, I, I planned, so we'll have to speed up. Get a little bit of attitude. No trees. Let's see if we can get a smooth landing. This is Gore NZGC. Being much more subtle with the throttle. Uh, sudden advances when you're close to idle will cause you to backfire. I'm getting there, it also makes taxi much easier. Although it's still I have a little bit of trouble taxiing at low speeds. But it's either a little bit too slow for me, power wise, or a little bit too much. Just keeping straight to the takeoff here, as this was um, a very quick stop. Stick back. A little bit of a close call there. Maybe I should use flaps and small trim. Yeah, 
heading off to Invercargill now, NZNV. The comparatively major airport compared to these grass strips. We can follow this road river. Pretty flat terrain the whole way. Still pretty. It's a nice relaxing change from the hectic uh, mountain flights we've been doing. And it gives me a chance to learn the T6 in compared to in mild weather. Let's keep the power and the temperatures up as high as possible during this landing. Well, not, I mean, don't mean as high as possible. But I mean, definitely in the uh, green range. I'm sure the Papi are working correctly, or else I have no idea how to use them. Because this seems to be a fairly smooth landing at a correct angle. Okay, I seem to have now the three wheeler landings, but I'm not too, I have to, I've got to check whether I'm supposed to do three wheel landings. We have a parking lot in this airport. A lot of fast moving cars. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get excited now. Oh, there's a good view of the engine, look at that radio. Concrete runway takeoff. Let's see if I can make Get it smooth. Whoa. Got to check my rudder settings later on. Just a bit, a bit of a kick halfway through. A huge amount of power here. Uh, going to take off on its own. Oh, uh, I just realised I have my flaps fully extended. That's not too smart. It's a really slow takeoff. There you go, flaps. Kind of getting excited now because they're heading back north to Turanao, stroke Manapuri, NZMO. Back in the mountains and exciting scenery. This will be our last stop before we head to Milford Sound afterwards, the next installment. About to the distance, we'll be, we'll be, <laughs> we will be fast forwarding this. Quite a long flight. 60 miles over, beautiful relaxing terrain. The airport is just round that mountain on the left. K 
can fly straight over the mountain and drop in. We should certainly keep the engine hot if I put the landing gear up, but we're going to fly more cautiously because I'm not too sure where it is. Almost got it in sight. Bad. Similar temperature up in the green. I'm at, that green now is my to go area for cruise and landing. Wow, that mountains. I get all excited when I see that. That's where we're heading to move the sand in our next trip. Keep this on the wrong way. Just gently reduce the power. To a now. I'm just sure that's pronounced correctly. To a now. Stoke Manapuri. N Z M O. And right, gateway to the mountains. Definitely an airport worth saving. To launch a whole bunch of. Uh, Interesting flights around here.